Clark backing away for a three-pointer and sinks it right in front of the shot clock buzzer. Jennifer into the fray, off for Evans. His pull-up jumper, he sticks it. I'll tell you what, again, I'll say it, he is going to be playing for a paycheck when he leaves Cincinnati. Off the back of that iron and stopped with a big rebound. Kicks it back out. Here's Evans. Yes, the three. He is suggesting going back to six fouls for everybody in every conference as the jump shot is knocked in by Scott. Jumper all the way, and that one home for Washington has a really nice touch. I tell you what, he's just really hard to guard. Trying to add to a 16 to 9 lead here. They get three underneath Clark for two. And batted away by Cincinnati. The step by Clark. Up ahead for Copain, and he knocks it in. And a timeout for Penn State. They don't like the looks of this. How about this 17 to 3 run? Looking to add to that. It opened up in another basket. Defense, they'll go half court pressure back to a matchup zone. Boy, he is going to be tough to handle. You're absolutely right. Car back in the corner for Gardner. Yes! All that on the triple. That's a shot they really needed. He has eight points, and that is the end of the first half. Now Johnson with a three. He sticks it. I got a great story about a Dickie V ABC's book that my kids have. I've made it to lead tight play, and I think this is a good thing for these Penn State players now. Obviously, you want to see them have some success. 51-33. Real pipeline there with Roman Catholic to Penn State. That one swished in. This one a final for Cincinnati, 71 to 50, the final score.